Abraham, the owner of White Rabbit. Abraham, how are you today? I'm doing good, thank you. Abraham, so tell us about your passion for coffee and why you started this business. It's more about passion for people and for coffee because they come together, right? Like coffee for me is more an experience where people meet and chat and just get to know each other. Mm -hmm. And I found North America has more the business aspect of people come run for a coffee because they need to drink coffee, not to sit down and enjoy a cup of coffee. And that's why I made Ryan White Rabbit. So you really, really like when people come in and spend time learning about coffee. I love coffee. meeting new people. Yeah. And people should have the experience to enjoy, to love the coffee, enjoy the experience, and just meet the person beside you. Mm -hmm. That's all it takes. So I'm here with Daryl, and he's the barista here at White Rabbit, and he so graciously agreed to show me how to make some drinks. And uh, today we're gonna make a latte and a sunrise espresso, right? Yes. So let's try the latte. Amazing. Okay. To me, being a barista is liking what I do and sharing what I actually like to do with people. Uh, to me, work isn't about the pay, it's about the passion for what you actually share with others. I want to share the experience that I first had when coffee was truly amazing to taste to me. I thought coffee was this one flavor before, but there's so much more out there, kind of like wine, and to give that to other people and just like to experience something new is something I would like other people to also experience. So what's the first step? So first step, we're gonna just clear this out from the old coffee and we're gonna give this a little tap out. And we're gonna make sure all the old stuff is out. Try to clean those grinds. Okay, and how much coffee do you generally put in one? So this, uh, for our recipe, we use 18 grams of coffee and then we generally do 36 grams out uh, after it's been brewed. Why does it matter to be so precise when making uh, coffee. I see that you're taking little tiny spoons out. Yeah, so uh, coffee is a bit of science, uh, also a bit of art. The science part is uh, the extraction ratio. It's actually to keep consistency in flavor. Okay, really good to know. I heard that it's very easy to burn milk. Uh, yes, it is quite easy. Getting milk right is actually one of the hardest things to learn. Ah, uh, okay, so I might fail at this today. <laughs> Let's um, hope not, I don't know. If I do my job, then maybe not. Okay. <laughs> so what you want to do here is actually tilt the pitcher slightly at a 45 degree angle, and you want to get the whirlpool motion, because that's what pulls the air into the milk. So are you ready? I think so, okay. So? So we're gonna just purge this for you, and then we're gonna put that in. So How far you, do I put it in? You're gonna go down, yep. Yeah. And then okay. we're gonna turn it on. Okay. And then you're just gonna stop here. Okay. And then, ah! so you can take your hand off if it's too hot. Okay. okay. I'll turn it off. Okay. Very good, you can take it out. There we go. We're gonna purge this just to make sure the machine is clean. And you tapped it before. Why is it important to tap it? You can tap it to get rid of the bigger bubbles and then you're gonna room it by like giving a little swirl. There we go. So oh, let's yeah. see how you did. How is this comparable? It looks great. Okay, good. Amazing. Now what's next? What are some tips and tricks that you can give people at home that are trying to be their own baristas? Um, do a little research. Uh, things like trying different beans, different roasts, uh, different brewing methods. Um, not everyone will like everything, but you just have to kind of find what is right for you. to White Rabbit very often. Rebecca, can you tell us why you love this coffee shop so much? Well, uh, it's close to my house, so I, I happened to stumble upon it one morning and I've been coming back ever since. And why do you keep coming back? Well, I mean, the coffee is absolutely amazing, no question. But I, I actually think I come back for Abraham, the store owner. He's just the kindest, most lovely man. So. So something so special about White Rabbit is you have a lot of unique drinks. Can you tell us about some of the unique drinks you've tried in the past? I, uh, I do my best to invent every day, to evolve. So coffee is always an espresso shop, but you can always evolve it to something different. I try to explore with coffee, and I, we're doing a couple of drinks now. One of them has uh, freshly squeezed orange juice in it. We called it the Sunrise Latte. Uh, yesterday we tried a Mojito Latte. 
turned out to be good. So I'm gonna show you how to pour quickly. So when you pour, you're just gonna go, you want the stream to be straight. Stream to be straight. And then when you want to make the art, you're gonna want to try to touch the top. Okay. You wanna go as close as possible. Sounds good. And that's it. That's it, all right. I believe in you. Do you think I will do okay? What kind of art do you think I should make? A heart. A heart. I'm ready, Daryl. Ready. Okay, I so think you can do it. straight stream. Yeah, and then at the very top, you're gonna go close, and that's how you're gonna make the art. Okay. And you're gonna go close now. And close, 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 swirl, close. swirl, swirl. Oh no. <laughs> okay, I think I'm not doing it very well, but. Abstract. <laughs> do you see that? It's abstract art. Exactly. And it's always delicious. It's always you know good. your coffee. Everybody loves our coffee. Um, another question is that you, all of your products here are sustainable. You use zero plastic. Can yeah. you tell us why so, you chose to do that? I believe in an environment. I personally am a diver and I love the ocean. And one of the things I hate is the plastic. And everything that the consumer takes out of the coffee shop is technically zero plastic. It's all 100% biodegradable, made in USA. And I believe in it because I personally love the environment and I can't live you know, mm -hmm. with plastic in it. And you also source your coffee from really sustainable places all around the world. Uh, our coffee mostly from Brazil but we try to get from African coffee, Brazilian, but mostly the coffee is the highest grade coffee possible. Even our milk, we use a farm like two hours from Toronto. So we, we keep the value of the, everything that we make in the highest brands possible. And last question, what is it that you love so much when people come to visit you and leave with the best experience? Just have a smile on their face. Enjoy it, love to see me, and just see their faces every day. Awesome. It's not only about coffee, it's more about the people themselves.